Ricardo doing here at Los Chicos or Checos? I'm not sure. I don't speak that much Mexican. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know what I'm doing, okay? Tax breaks for all. I came to make Toastmasters laugh again. <laughs> One of the things I'm doing here, I brought an extra million dollars relief for victims of Hurricane Harvey. I'm going over to Houston later tonight, and it's well, well worth it because Hurricane Harvey really, really, really blew everybody's concern about all my Russian involvement and all that right off, the, right off of the table, right off of the table. Tonight, we're going to close the chapter of the Russian collusion chaos. We're going to address North Korea. That's right, folks, I'm still blowing North Korea up. I'm going to do it a little bit different tonight. <laughs> then I'm going to cover a couple of cybersecurity matters a little bit closer to home. Let's get right to it. First off, fact checkers, you have the night off. Because you know that Donald just spits it out as it comes. Political incorrectness, half-truths, alternate facts. Doesn't matter what the Donald says, the naysayers, they're going to take it, they're going to turn it, they're going to twist it, then they're going to release it to CNN. That's fake news. <laughs> the rushing business. Eight months investigation. Not one single shred of evidence against the Donald. I'm going to call it myself case closed. And I'll tell you what, I'll go off script a little bit. If Hillary would have won, who there would be some impeachment going on with this plutonium thing. Writing a bunch of jokes about that, we'll be back another time for those. Now that all the Russian stuff is over, I tell you, I will admit I've had involvement for 35 years with Russia. One time I clicked on an email and they had me. You ever click on one of those emails to get you? They clicked on, you know what email I clicked on when the Russians got me? Croatian Wives, Volume 23. <coughs> I sat face to face with Vladimir Putin. We discussed each other's points of view. We argued out some differences. We debated some really, really hot topics. During our collusions, we came to a conclusion. We were in consensus. Uh -oh. Did I just self-incriminate? Doesn't matter. I'm the president. You're not. I'll pardon myself. <laughs> Let me say it again. During our collusions, we came to a conclusion. We were in consensus. Slavic wives are the bomb. Now that all this Russian stuff is over, let's get to bombing somebody. To bomb somebody, we're going to need nuclear codes. <laughs> kind of looks like a Peyton Manning long bomb play, doesn't it? Oh, hold on, I'm getting something in my ear. Don't show the nuclear codes? Okay, <laughs> fake codes, alternate codes have been issued. But to bomb somebody, we're going to need a target. North Korea. Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Short. Did you not see the United States launch 59 Mohawk missiles at Syria when they crossed the line? Kim Jong, stupid. Did you not see the United States use the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan? Kim Jong, stir fry, I got news for you. Bad things come in threes. We've all seen the Million Man Army on CNN. Shiny boots, high stepping, regimented marching. Rocket Man. Line them up. We'll knock them down like bowling pins. Now, I could blow the world up all night long if you let me. I've got 742 Trump jokes written. But let's talk about some issues a little closer to home. Been a hack over at Equifax. I don't know if you heard, 90 gajillion people got all their information stolen at Equifax. Okay? Half y'all don't have to worry about it because if your credit score is below 500, your information ain't worth selling anyway. 51% of you better take heed because my aide, General Kelly, he just told me that, that Equifax hack came to Hillary Clinton supporters. Seems like a lot of effort they went through just to try to get a glimpse of some of Donald's tax returns. 
the funny part about the whole thing, I think, is Equifax set up a site on day one after they found out about the hack. You can put your information in to find out if you've been hacked or not. That site was hacked the first day, they found out 30 days later. <laughs> Equifax, more like Incompofax, five million people ate a hamburger this summer and got hacked. Social security numbers, birthdays, all they did was order some tater tots. Now, Sonic, it's an all-American driving. Last time I went to Sonic, teenager about 17 with a little milk mustache, roller skated up to the car with a name tag on said Peaches. I tipped him $5 on a $2 lesson. Yahoo also got hacked. Anyone here still have Yahoo? It's one of the oldest, one of the easiest to hack. I was hacked last year from Yahoo. Some of y'all got the emails. But can you imagine Putin himself or Prime Minister Netanyahu getting an email from the Donald? Just like the email you got last year, Michael Joseph, that said, I'm stuck in the Philippines and lost my wallet and need $1,400? No, Yahoo is run by a bunch of Yahoo hooligans. You're fired, Yahoo. Equifax, Sonic, all of you are fired. What we've done today, we've closed the chapter on the Russian chaos. Deep as I go, three Slavic wives. We've taken Kim Jong-un, we turned him into Kim Jong stir fry. We put him in a frying pan and made a foo young. <laughs> then we covered a couple of things about your credit issues, not mine. <laughs> Folks, at the end of the day, I want you to remember this. I got a gajillion dollars in the bank on the president until they impeach me. We got one last one for you. Before I leave office, I have one more political appointee who's gonna be a Supreme Court justice pick. Last time it took forever. But this time I know it's going to take two days tops. Y'all want to know who my next Supreme Court Justice pick is? Yeah. Yeah. My next pick, Judge Judy. <laughs> All right, Judge Judy's the winner, just like everyone here at Cattle Masters. God bless Judge Judy. God bless America. <laughs>